Hi, I'm Lou Ann Overman. Welcome to a free art lesson. Um, today we're going to paint um, a boat, a really old antique boat, and I'm just going to show you how to um, take your watercolors and make them um, just barely sit on top of this paper so it'll look like it's all scruffed up. Um, I started this with a lemon yellow and cobalt turquoise and I just wet the whole canvas and while it was wet um, I applied the lemon yellow and I just brushed it across then I flipped my canvas around and then I applied the cobalt um, turquoise and then I just held it up until the cobalt turquoise blended into the yellow and then after it was dry I drew the boat on here and the first color I'm going to start out with will be Payne's Gray and just a little bit of Payne's Gray. This is something you kind of build up color. There's still a lot of color on there. Let me, there we go. I'm just using my brush on the side and on the edge. It's kind of like brushing your paint on and being sloppy and not, not caring if you get every little nook and cranny. It's what makes this really pretty is painting it kind of on the dry side. And another thing I'm going to use with this is called um, aqua cover and that works really well for you see this boat has some white paint left on it and I'm just going to wet my brush slightly take some of this aqua cover it didn't show up too much until you, until you start painting around it, but you see I'm not doing it in any particular way. I'm just kind of dropping it on there. One thing that makes watercolor really pretty is being able to see through it. I'm going to do another little area. You can get aqua cover to match your watercolor paper that you're using. Okay, that's just to give you an idea of what that aqua cover will do. Kind of like brings it back to the white of the paper. I'm going to use a little bit more of the Payne's Gray. And I'm going to start to work in this area. Looks like I'm being careless, but this is what makes this old wood look really neat. To be careful, this paint's gray too, it's strong. This is the side in the sunlight, so I'm not going to use quite as much. One thing else that I do whenever I paint or decide on a painting, um, I divide my painting up like with a tic tac toe board. I start with the thirds and come across here and then I start with the thirds and come across here. And the places where they intersect, um, that's where my, my focal point of the painting is. And so on this boat, the focal point is going to be in this area. And this area is where you see the um, rusty hook and the ring and the rope. And also, I'm fixing to add some really strong color that will lead your eye up to the focal point. I'll do that now. This is the cobalt turquoise. Okay, just a little bit of it. I'm 
You see I'm painting dry so you can see right through and it looks all broken up. I'm going to use my Payne's Gray, but I'm going to use it dry and a little bit stronger. And I'm just using the chisel end of the brush. And there, I'm just laying it down flat. And I'm going over top of this lighter Payne's Gray. And you see how this looks like wood that's just coming apart? And you just keep adding layers of color and texture to the boat. So give this a try. This is really not hard. Thank you for joining me. I'm Luann Overman, and check out my website at www.brushmarksbyluann.com. Thank you.